Hi, this is Sydney Waters with Tri-State RV and today I'm going to be showing you some tips on prolonging the life of your camper. And we're going to start with roof maintenance, which you should be doing every three months. Let's start with our slides. Okay, you're going to want to check all your slides. The main things you're going to be looking for are any holes or gouges in the roof here or any tears or splits in the tape along the seal of your slide right here. We do recommend if you do have any slide damage to bring it into the service department. All right, follow me over here. The next thing we're gonna check for is any spaces between the gasket and our AC unit. And as you can see on this camper, we've got our gasket right here, AC unit, nice and tight, nothing to worry about. This is another issue that if um, you do have any spaces, we would want you to bring it into our service department as well. Take you on down the camper here. Now what we're gonna do next is look for any holes or spaces in our lap sealant or self leveler. And as you can see right here, I already came through and did a couple of little holes I saw along the skylight. Um, you can look, you've got a screw exposed right here too. It's really important to get those covered up. That'll start uh, breeding rust and that'll spread throughout the skylight area. Now you can also see this doesn't have to be pretty. It is self leveler, so this will level itself out. If you want to do straight line, that's up to you. Now this was hole maintenance. If we are going to do a sealant on the whole skylight, you're going to want to run a line on the exterior of the existing lap sealant. Let's go down to the nose of the camper. This is another area that's really important to check, the end and the nose. As you can see, this one needs some maintenance. It's got a couple little um, cutouts here, here, and then right here, it's really exposed. This is a little trickier. Um, if you're getting close to the edge of your camper right here where the lap sealant could maybe uh, slide down your camper, we usually recommend you use caulk instead just to make sure you don't have any drips go down the side. All right, if you want to look right here, while you're checking all your attachments, you're going to want to take off, if you have a Max Air, you're going to want to take these four bolts out right here and make sure you check the sealant around your vent. Um, it's very easy, it's gonna save you a lot of headache uh, if you have any leaks going down into your vent. Right over here, since we're already up here, we're gonna check our gutters. You can see campers usually have a very small gutter. It's really easy to just push out anything out of, and that's just gonna ensure the water goes down your downspout instead of spilling over on top of you if you're sitting down on your camper there. All right, thanks for watching and have a great day. Come see us at Tri-State RV.